Rainbow Family LGBTQIA plus same sex reading. However, that fits in with you. Welcome to the reading with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader, general reading for 7 to 14 August. Um, so this is for any people on my rainbow family spectrum, or maybe you're just dealing with someone you might have to like to have a sort of like a deeper or broader grasp of what's happening at the moment. Okay. Take it as it resonates. When you come across something that resonates for you in the reading, claim it for yourself by placing your hand on your heart, take a nice deep breath and say yes to it. Okay. So we're going to take a look at fear, present fear, um, how you move past it, what is the benefit of moving past it, and stay with this reading until the end, because at the end, I'm going to draw for you a message directly from your angels. Okay. So what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Okay, not bad, not bad at all. I like the way that this is starting off, and I like the way the reason, the direction in which it is going. Fourth Pentacles, the magician energy, Mercury energy, communicative energy, which is usually the energy that is the ruling planet for Venus and and Gemini. Um, so this could be, I feel, a problem that is very inside, or also very outside. Bottom line is there's something here that needs to be discussed. Eight of Swords. Okay, so first of all. I see that stability is available for you. Financial stability, mental stability, emotional stability, life stability is available for you. So some of you may feel like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do next? Stability is being promised here for you. And the money to cover the things that you need to be covered by money. It's like money is your friend, basically. All right. Money is definitely your friend. You're my beautiful, beautiful um, rainbow family member speak it into existence what do you want speak into existence claim it for yourself know that you are worthy of it know that you are deserving of it know that if others can have it that you can have it all right it is about saying yes to what it is that you want to have a lot of times in life we say i'd really like to have this but i don't really think that that is going to happen for me now remember that whatever is the strongest thought that you are putting forth is what you are going to manifest so when you are saying, oh, I'd really like to have this and this and that, but I don't think it's going to happen for me, what do you think is the strongest thought going out there? That what you want or what you think you can't have? Because now you, by saying what you want and saying that you can't have it, you are actually blocking it more. Okay? As opposed to, for example, oh, I'd really like to have that. I don't see how that's going to happen, but, you know, I'm open to miracles. I'm open to blessings and breakthroughs. I'm open to divine intervention. Same thing, different approach, different outcome. Okay, eight of swords. Just be, you know, just because things seem like they're going to be so bad doesn't mean that they have to be. Remember, a lot of us come from very old fears. All right, and when something happens that seems challenging, the brain reminds you of those old fears. Just because you think it's going to happen doesn't mean that it has to happen. Okay. And also, I see that the worst things that you are anticipating here are not even coming true for you. You can claim that for yourself. All right, my worst fears are not coming true. Which means some of the amazing things that I thought will happen, or, or thought that may not happen, have the potential to happen now. Hoo -hoo. Okay, let's clarify my beautiful rainbow family. And if any of you are interested in learning card reading, you know, that beautiful sort of guidance, or you're new to spiritual awakening, or like to take your spiritual path to the next level, Check out the links for my courses, my online courses down below in the description. And I'm also currently working an advanced tarot reading course. Okie dokie. So we've got the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. All right. Clarifying the Four of Pentacles. So there's a change around in money, in opportunities and possibilities. So you may have said, okay. Um, actually, I've got a prime example of that. So in less than a month, I'm moving back to Cape Town, you know, from the country. Country's been beautiful, but it, I think it's time to go back home now. And, you know, um, when you sign a lease, sometimes you have to pay like a single deposit or a double deposit. And so I just, pre I said, well, it's probably just going to be single, but I'll prepare in any case, then I'm ready. You know, prepare mentally, emotionally, physically, all of those type of things. And then the agent comes back and says, no, it's single. But imagine if I drove myself with this craziness all the time, like, oh my God, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Drive yourself crazy for nothing. No. Use your mind to your benefit, not your detriment. And there are bigger financial breakthroughs coming for you and bigger visual formants coming for you, my beautiful, beautiful people. Okay? Let's look at this magician energy. Your wildest dreams, your most beautiful, beautiful dreams are about to come true. 
way bigger than you can imagine. Let's see. So, clarifying the magician, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Three of Swords. So yeah, you're getting to do your own thing going forward. Beautifully so. You're going to more. You're saying, well, this was once what I saw for myself is what I deserve. But now I know that I'm worthy of more. So I'm opening to more. And your heart is ready for more. That's a beautiful thing. I feel love coming here. I feel love coming. I feel love working out. Instead of maybe walking away from a situation or connection, things can actually work out. You know, it's interesting. Any relationship, any relationship gets to this point where you feel like, you know, I'm done with this person. But then in that doneness, that is usually when you get to the deeper issues where you discuss the deeper issues and then you really choose that connection. And that is really where that magic comes from. You know, where you really, you yearn not because you feel you must, but because you're choosing to be here. And I want you to choose all that's good for you. That's your power right now. Speak it into existence. Don't be afraid to speak your highest desires. All right. Clarifying that Eight of Swords for you. We've got the Queen of Swords, the Hermit Energy, Virgo Energy. And the Three of Pentacles. Some of you need to take a bit of a break. I also need to take a bit of a sip of water. I'm recuperating from a bit of a flu that I had. Don't worry about me. The worst is behind me. Queen of Swords, Hermit, Three of Pentacles. I see that your, your mind is becoming your friend going forward. You are thinking better thinking thoughts. And also pay attention to your thoughts. You're like, it's normal to be worried and stressed and concerned. But does it really mean that you have to panic yourself straight down into a hernia for something in your mind? You don't even know whether it's going to happen or not. Take a break. Take a rest. Recuperate. You are tired. And there's a beautiful new beginning ahead of you. Don't worry. There's a new beginning for you. Some of you may feel, oh my goodness, is the past going to repeat itself? No, uh -uh. no, no, no. We're not about that life, you know? Let's see what the angels have for you. Look at what's at the bottom, transformation. What the angels have for you. If you go ahead, my beautiful Rainbow family, and like, share, comment, and subscribe, I'm really going to appreciate it. <coughs> Sorry. It helps me to help more people, which is something that I'm very passionate about. Ooh. Ten of Pentacles, this is the magic right there. Look at that beautiful spell of strength there with all the golden coins, happiness. It says financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life, honoring family traditions, pride in the family tree, passing on knowledge. Things are about to get good for you, my beauties. They're about to get good, better, 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 better than good. All right. So that's what I got for you. I hope that it helps. If any of you are interested in a, a, you know, a deeper exploration of your energetic possibilities, where do you go from here? What can you do? That sort of universal guidance, which can really help you to, you know, to get into abundant flow of life. Go ahead and book a personal reading with me. The details on how to do it is down below in the description. I'll see you next time.